Viewers be warned. Terror and horrors beyond your wildest imaginations lie hidden in plain sight in this video. A traumatic tale of lament, anguish, and regrets awaits you. <sighs> Basically, this project made me really sad and hurt my feelings. <gasps> Jump scare! Hello and welcome to a very, maybe, kinda, might be a little spooky video. Today we've got some guests Hi. that we're gonna be painting today. I've been really excited to do this video. Really like these IRL paint videos. I kind of thought of an idea for this video besides, you know, spooky time, Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm gonna show like five different ways. Wait. Four different ways. Four different ways of how to paint these guys. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's see, I think I got all my colors. Think, think these colors are right? Hopefully. I'm gonna start off with um, the good old Freddy Fazbear. And if you haven't noticed, he's a little different than the other ones. Or at least he appears to be a little different than the other ones. Well, that's cause he is. Freddy is unprimed. I wanted to do one that was unprimed because I feel like some people have this like barrier of entry and some people think, oh, well you gotta prime it and I don't have primer and I don't wanna go out and buy it so I can't paint it. Wrong. You can definitely paint it. It's not like the best way to do it. It is beneficial to prime it uh, for a lot of different reasons. Kinds of figures uh, on prints, um, especially like resin prints, the, the paint will fisheye on it. And fisheyeing is kind of like when the paint decides to like separate and it makes like little pockets in the middle that look like eyeballs. I guess they look like fish eyeballs. So that's why they call it fish eyeing. I don't actually think that's gonna happen on this one. This one's super dry. It's not really fresh. In case your prints do fish eye, I'm gonna show you how to avoid the fish eye. You know what, let's see if it'll even fish eye. Yeah. Ew. Let's see. No, no fish eyeing. Let's pretend this is fish eyeing. What am I gonna do to prevent it from fish eyeing? You want to give a guess? That's right. I'm gonna stab it. <laughs> Honestly, this does work. This is very silly and I do do this sometimes. Just for funsies, not necessarily to like cover up fish eye. This does work. I've used it in the past and um, you'll probably use like less paint to put on like a thinner layer, but that, that, that'll help you prevent fish eye if you're getting fish eye. I actually kind of wish I had a model that would fish eye so I can show you, but that's enough of the word fish eye for now. For now, Freddy's gonna get his paint job. Probably shouldn't have painted his butt so I can, he's gonna be laying on his face until his butt dries, I guess. Very important to leave a part not painted so you can set it down. Look how beautiful and incredible that first layer is. Because it's not. You see that? Why is my paint gurgling? Ew. This is like mostly dry. I can't remember if his belly is a different color. That's a problem for future me. Okay, I know that bow is not that color. The muzzle is a different color. But guess what? It's all gonna be the same color now. Don't leave his butt dry. Leave his butt dry so I can stand him up. And look at this. Look at how disgustingly messy I'm being. You can just be all over the place. It's just a literal hot mess. Just like me. And it'll still come out pretty dece. I'm gonna put this down. Oh, fuck me. Well, Freddy dries a little bit. We're gonna do Bonnie. And Bonnie is primed. You're not gonna see a tremendous amount of difference. Not really. Primer helps, like, paint stick and it helps, like, paint not fish eye and it helps when it comes to like picking out colors and applying them and stuff, but like, it's not 100% necessary. You know, if you're a professional, you should probably do that, but you don't gotta if you're just gonna do it for yourself, because then the only person you're disappointing is yourself. I think this is a good enough purple. Don't paint the butt. Paint the butt later. This is a really hot purple. Like, it's good looking, and it's, like, really bright. And remember, if you wanna, you can actually buy these models, because they're my models. And I sell them for money. I don't think Bonnie has a different colored muzzle. I think it's all the same. But again, that's a problem for future me to figure out. <laughs> looking pretty purple. I think Bonnie's ready to be put down. I mean, like, 
Not not like old yeller, it's fine. He's pretty dry. He's probably ready. He's Freddy ready. Ha 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 ha. I don't gotta stab it, but I wanna stab it. Because I feel like it'd be fun. Why did I paint his booty again? It's okay. You know what's crazy is that I've never actually played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I've been a pretty big fan, mostly because like I know all the lure, because I'm really into the lure. I watch like every single lure video when I watch playthroughs of like every single game. But I've never actually played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Does that make me a fake fan? I really probably shouldn't be painting over these eyes. I, I got a feeling that these eyes are not brown. Just a hunch. Yeah, you look pretty good. Very soggy, very shiny. Bonnie's still a little soggy on the front. So let's let's do the back. Oh yeah, get those ears. Yeah. That's some that's some good looking purple. It's a nice purple. Nice purple. So Oh no, Chica fell over. So you gotta be wondering, um, what are the other ways I'm gonna use to paint these? With Foxy, I plan on doing one of these. Uh, I have this like crabby, crabby, uh, crappy um, hobby paint that I have that's pretty close to what I think Foxy co Foxy's colors are supposed to be. So I'm gonna use spray paint on Foxy. So we've got a no primer, a primer, and a spray paint. I thought about doing an airbrush one because I do have an airbrush, but I really didn't want to jack it out and like use it. It's kind of a hassle, but I just kind of didn't want to. I'll do a whole video all about airbrushing, but not on these guys. I'm gonna do a spray paint on Foxy and then for Chica. Well, I've got special plans for Chica. Chica's not even ready for that. You get ready, Chica. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to um, film me spray painting Foxy. Okay, so I've got a spray paint. I've got my Foxy. Hi, Foxy. Let's see if I can do this. Zoom in on the victim. very lightly dusted so dusted you know what's funny as i was waiting for this to dry uh, i didn't realize that my paint is glossy so that's gonna be a lot harder for me to tell when it's dry Ooh. Ooh. he is red so red i feel like this spray paint is very very thick because this feels very thick he also looks very thick Okay, so while Foxy is over there doing his thing, I've still got Bonnie and Freddy right here to play with. Hello, Bonnie. How are you? Very purple. Love the look. Honestly, great purple. Fantastic purple that I picked. In love with this purple. I think Bonnie's gonna look the best. I'm gonna do something special with Chica. I am going to flock Chica. That requires me to completely paint Chica. So here's kind of an example of it. This is a powder, and I'm going to make her fuzzy. But first, I got painter. Aw oh man, I really should have spray painted this white. Oopsie doodles, I didn't do that. I just checked on Foxy, and he is not looking great. I hope it looks better than I think it currently is looking. Cause it's not good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Stop! That's what happens when you just paint willy nilly. You get paint all over your willies and your nillies. Bonnie, you're like the least problematic out of all of these right now. You're doing great. My star pupil right here. Oh no! This is a thing that happens when you don't prime it or sand it. The paint comes off super easy. I'm gonna pretend like that's not there and paint the rest of him. Okay, so I got Foxy back in. <laughs> I didn't intend to explain different ways paint can go wrong, but here's the second instance. So this paint was super, super thick. Um, that's how you know that it's kind of like poopy. Honestly, that, that spray paint was crap. It's It was really cheap. You could see like it's so thick on here. I didn't even spray it that thick on here and it's just so thick and chunky, like filled in a lot of the like 
details and stuff. Also, don't flip over your, your prints or your pieces too early because then you'll get stuff stuck to it because it's still wet. That's bad. Not just is it like thick, but it also orange peeled. Hopefully that like you can see that. So orange peeling is kind of like the opposite of fisheyeing. I mean, it's not even the opposite of fisheyeing. It causes like these little dimples in here. And I thought that was caused because the paint was being sprayed too dry, but I don't know. Honestly, that doesn't happen to me that often. So like, oh, here's another one. Like this is like straight up bubbling and like actually that, that looks like a little bit of fisheyeing. But like, yeah, this is what happens when things kind of go awry, I see. I'll double check later. Maybe, maybe I'm getting my terms wrong. Moral of the story, do not use a crappy spray paint. So I've got the whole gang here and we're about halfway there. I bet you can hear my printer just humming away in the background. It's a happy hum. It hasn't hummed like this in so many months. Oh my God, I really need to spend more time looking up pictures. Me just going in here being like, yeah, I know what these look like. Clearly I don't. Clearly I'm a fake fan. I thought Freddy's hat was yellow, it's black. What's wrong with me? Also, I panicked a little bit because I thought I saw pictures of Bonnie as blue. I'm like, Bonnie is not blue. It's not changing. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'll figure it out. Bonnie's the star now. Probably shouldn't have gone so ham with that white, especially with this super janky brush. That didn't used to be a janky brush. It's poor, abused body is thrashed and it's all my fault that it's all scraggly. I'm sorry brush, I messed you up. I found a slightly less abused brush. I'm gonna get some Freddy's in my bowls. Oh no, is this the good brush or the janky brush? You're, it's not time for you, you haven't got a haircut yet. Oh my goodness, Foxy, you are so shiny. You are so incredibly shiny. I think I know what's going on here. Oh my gosh. Now you're deciding to give me an example of what fish eyeing looks like. This one was the one I should have used spray paint on. I didn't have any yellow spray paint. Bonnie, why? No, wait, this one's name is Chica. Oh my God, I am a fake fan. Maybe I just like Bonnie more. He is the better color. Priming this in white would have been very helpful, but I did not do that. Past me, why did you do me like this? Oh, this paint is really sticky. Ooh, it's so thick, so opaque. Oh my gosh, look at that. One layer, that's what I want. Also, I feel like the internet is trying to gaslight me into thinking that Bonnie is blue. Bonnie is not blue. Over my dead body is Bonnie blue. Bonnie is not blue. He's not blue, he's not indigo, he's purple. He's this specific shade of purple and nothing's going to change that. Purple. Can do some eyeball action here. Nice. Oh no, not nice. Oh, oh God, listen. You gotta pay attention. You can't just go at it. I might as well have been like doing my taxes, going to the bathroom and picking my nose. That was awful. This is the nice brush. It's supposed to be nice. I say this is a nice brush. This is just a less tortured brush. Okay, I think, I think Bonnie's bow tie is red. I swear I just looked this up. I'm making it canon. I could look it up. Like Google is readily available, but then I'd have to stop doing this. Look it up. I don't want to do that. Canonically speaking, Bonnie's bow tie is not red. I swear, looking at these figures in their current state, you wouldn't think I could paint, but I swear, I swear I can paint. You gotta, you gotta trust the process. This is a process. Scary, somewhat questionable process, but it's a process. So this looks pretty icky. So I'm gonna like take this soggy sandpaper and I'm gonna try and get rid of some of these pieces of paper because I'm sure the wetness is gonna get rid of it. But I'm also gonna like gently sand it. So it'll look even nicer, even though it it's not gonna look that great. Oh no! Nobody says that's fine. Look at him, it looks great. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyeballs now. I'm pretty sure Bonnie has red eyes. And then like Foxy has yellow eyes. Freddy has blue eyes. And Chica's got like pink eyes, like magenta eyes. Something like that. Ooh, spoopy. That's what we're here for, right? We're here for the spoopy. I know I'm jumping all over the place. I'm sure you've noticed that already, but like keeps things exciting. Foxy is a hot mess. That's okay. Ooh, that looks really chunky on film. Chunky peanut butter. Listen, I'm pretty sure there's like no freaking way this was the right color. I feel like I saw like a magenta or like a pink and I'm not gonna be bothered to look it up again. So this is the color I'm going with. I know. Scandalous, absolutely scandalous. Call the papers. Tell them who I am and what I did. Oh man, these eyes are not really ready to get painted with other colors, but you know what? No one's here to stop me. We must all watch in horror. So see, this is where I'm a bad person, because I know Freddy has blue eyes, but I don't have a light blue on hand, and I can't be bothered to mix it, so he gets turquoise, which is close, but it is not light blue. It is turquoise. Now I'm just be being belligerent, and these eyes are definitely not ready to be painted, but too bad. That's actually very pretty. I actually love this color. I have no idea it- well, no, I do have an idea. It is not right at all. It is completely incorrect. This is fundamentally the wrong color, but it's pretty so it stays. My chica has a beak because there are chicas without beaks and I hate them. They're gross and I hate them. I refuse to make them so my chica gets a beak. Chica, I don't know who's more of a hot mess, like you or Foxy. You're kind of a hot mess on purpose though. Foxy's a hot mess on accident. Let me know who's more of a hot mess. Yeah, that looks great. Look at that, Chica with a beak. Still a bit of a mess, but she looks much better with a beak. I feel like I'll feel better about how shiny Foxy is if I paint his eye patch. Like I could put like a matte spray or something on him but I'm not. I'll do that last. I don't know if that's a good idea. That's probably a bad idea. I hate myself for not recording that. I made like the absolute perfect eyeball right away and I didn't capture it. Whatever. I swear I'm good at this. Sometimes. If I keep it in frame, you can actually see it. Ooh, God, Foxy, stop being so shiny. Jeez. Okay, now Bonnie, Bonnie's gonna get perfect eyes. Absolutely stunningly perfect eyes. Bam. Bam. This is number three. Perfect, perfect people. This is not a good, this is a bad brush. Like this brush? Bad brush. Where's, where's a good brush? Where's a good brush? This one's really tiny, but I think she, she's a good one. She's a good one. She's fine. This one's a little more forgiving. This one's like, it's okay to be insecure. I got you, fam. Piercing, deep into my soul, but not bad. Ooh, it looks so cute. Bulgy eyes and super cute. Um, now I gotta do like all his like his muzzle and his belly and all his other appendages. If you're interested, remember I like to release a mostly unedited, mostly uncut video of my uninterrupted paint sessions. The extended paint session should go up at the same time as this edited video. The extended version is about three hours long but I talk a lot more about what I'm doing and why I do it. So if you're interested, make sure to go check it out. Looks pretty good. Okay, Bonnie. More Bonnie color. Okay, time for 
um, itty bitty touch up with an itty bitty brush. This is the point in time in the video where I want to turn into a paint goblin and just get like four centimeters from this figure, basically touching my face while I paint it. And I can't do that because I can't film that. So I can't activate paint goblin mode. I, for reals though, will probably have to go full goblin off camera just to clean it up properly. I'm sorry, I can't do it on camera. I need to be in an uncomfortable position in order to paint right for some reason. Foxy has darker ears, right? And he's got lighter everything else. So I just said that so I would remember. Also, his eyeball looks like an egg, like a fried egg. And I gave him a little bit of eyeliner because I was testing some stuff out. And so was Foxy. Okay, we're gonna do some little details on Bonnie. The fun ones. Why is this paint so springy? That's good enough for now. This paint's freaking me out. Are you guys ready for some shiny eyeballs? I love adding the shiny eyeballs. Add such nice flair. Put right there and right there. For some reason, they all have like two. So that's what they get. love it. Also, I just realized his ears are not the right color. Like, these insides are supposed to be darker, but I already painted them. So the question is, do I want to repaint them? Bonnie gets some eye shinies, because I love the eye shinies. Yeah, beautiful, love it. Okay, so I have Chica here. For her bib, I was gonna use this marker to do all of the letters because God forbid I use a tiny paintbrush because I'm going to uh, lose my mind trying to do that. But I'm really afraid of Chica's eyebrows right now, not just because they are frighteningly dark, but uh, I just painted them with black and if I touch that black and get it anywhere on Chica, I'm gonna also completely lose my marbles. So I'm gonna wait till she dries a little bit. Okay, so mostly everybody's done at this point and they're decent enough. Yeah, some of us have a little more character than others, but we're doing pretty good. So now I'm gonna do some like goo wrangling and I'm gonna give them some shiny eyeballs and it's gonna look really pretty. Okay, little dollop, just a little, just a little bit. I don't need a crazy amount. There we go, that's fine. That's good, now get rid of those bubbles. Stab them out. Just Stabbing helps fix everything. If I had a torch, that would work too. So, stabbing and fire fixes everything. Now I'm gonna use this toothpick to get this all the way to the edge. I think this resin has aged and now it's no longer crystal clear. That makes me really sad. Oh my God, that does have a yellowy tint and that makes me so upsetty spaghetti. That means this resin is bad. Bonnie, no. It's really subtle, but I can still see it. It's, I can't just leave. You see, if I just leave one eye yellow, it's gonna look like I did it on accident. But I put, but if I make both of them yellow, it'll look like a purpose, but then he's got yellow eyeballs. That upsets me so much. Ah! Yep, they're both pretty yellow. Damn. Chica, you're not gonna frick frack and believe this. My resin ruined Bonnie. I'm so upset he's spaghetti right now. No, I'm, I like meticulously handed these letters onto here. I'm wondering, you know what? Yeah, it's, it was a good idea. This is very convenient. Especially when I can actually see what I'm doing. I was gonna say, I don't know if it was worth it. 
Oh yeah. Probably is. This one's gonna be the hard one. Let's see if I can even get this on camera. I cannot. There's no way I can do that. I'm gonna have to activate goblin mode to do this. Sorry, folks. Okay, so I can't put the goo on the eyeballs because I need new goo. So I'm just gonna make these matte with some other goo. Not shiny. They're gonna be all sealed and stuff. BRB. We'll see a difference, I promise. Here. Especially a fox. Foxy's gonna look really different. Sans, no shiny. Thank goodness. I don't think shiny looks good on him. I figure I'll show Foxy getting getting de shinied because it'd be pretty satisfying. I swear he's gonna get less shiny in a second. I am so curious to if this mat is gonna screw up these letters. Let's watch me screw up in real time. Yeah, it kind of did. See how they ran a little bit? Because I see it. So I'm just not gonna touch them again. I'm gonna wait that to dry. I'm lucky it didn't run more. As long as I don't touch it before it's dry again, it should be okay. Hold on. Look at that. We can actually see Foxy now. Amazing. Now that a couple of days have passed, I've finally got some good resin that's not gonna make my characters look like they have jaundice. Let's do that real quick. Hey, hey, hey. I don't need you throwing a tantrum. Okay, not gonna lie. My goo wrangling was very subpar. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is uh, not super great. I did my best at the moment, and next time I'll do better, I guess. <laughs> okay, Foxy only has one eye, so I feel like it's, it's this is gonna go better. It's gonna go way better for me. So I only have one eye I can screw up. Okay, so I have never screwed up so hard in my entire life. I let the eye, like, the resin leak out everywhere and it just got everywhere so I just like tried to wipe it all off and now he's all shiny. <laughs> I'm so butthurt. I'm so butthurt. Look at him. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna try this one more time. One more time. I'm not gonna screw it up this time. I think, I think I saved it. Um, he looks fine. He's a little shiny. Again, I guess he just really wanted to be shiny again, but he is not gonna stay shiny. He's gonna get some matte varnish and he's going to like it. Okay, Chica, I just need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a favor and not make me sad. I just need you to work out well enough, okay? Okay. Oh my goodness. Will you stop? Oh my God. What is with the bubbles in this resin? Somebody send me, like, gag resin? What is this? Ooh! Check that out. Well, actually, let's make sure I actually hit it. But look at that. Look at these eyes. Oh, my. That one's wild. This pink is hot. Super hot. That actually looks uh, pretty perfect. Like, that's, that's a pretty perfect eyeball right there. That's a good-looking eyeball. Okay, so Chica's eye didn't go super well. At least not the second one. <sighs> I feel so terrorized, so attacked. I can do this. I can definitely. Why is it so runny this time? Oh my god, it ran. I feel like Mercury's gotta be in the microwave right now because I feel like I've been absolutely terrorized by this project. I'm so annoyed. The second eye on Chica leaks all over the beak, right? And so I had to scrape it off with a mic with a blade and Jesus, it's such a mess. Now I have to repaint this part and the eye looks okay. I just want this project to be over. <laughs> I wanna go home. I fixed Chica's eye. I carved it out, I guess. 
I'm sad. This project has made me sad. Anyway, we're moving on. Now we're gonna do the powder part. We're gonna make her all fuzzy with the flocking powder. And in order to do that, I need to shove a stick up her butt. Good thing I already made a hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint her. I'm going to paint her with this stuff. It's called Prosade. It's gonna make her really sticky and it's gonna make the flocking powder stick to her. So I'm just gonna make the yellow parts sticky because that's the only part I'm going to make fuzzy right now. So fun fact, while I had my camera turned off, my entire tripod fell over and just like knocked over everything on my desk. I sincerely believe this project is haunted. Cursed even. Chica is thoroughly sticky. I'm going to set up how I'm going to flock her now. So I have this very expensive artistic device, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this other very expensive artistic device. I'm going to put some powder in it. In it. Okay. Scoop it out, put it in here. Just make a nice little bed for Chica. This isn't usually how I flock. There are other ways I flock. This is just the way I'm doing it right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Chica on the little bed. On the little bed. Get off the stick. Come on, Chica. Get off the stick. And now I'm gonna bury Chica. I'm gonna bury Chica now, right? There's no crime if they can't find the body. There we go. Nice and full. You guys ever, um, like, do they still make shake and bake? Because that's what I'm gonna do to Chica. I'm gonna shake and bake her. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this works. <laughs> Revenge. Show, show them all. This is what's gonna happen to you. This is what's gonna happen to you if you don't be good. Stop cursing my project. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. That's hilarious. She honestly looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Is she done? Has she, has she learned her lesson? I don't know, maybe a couple more shakes. Give her a little bit jiggle. Ah, yes, very fuzzy. Now I'm going to gently brush her off, I guess. That was fun, and this looks like it worked. So like, shake and bake method works. And like, this flock will like, probably always come off a little bit. I think it's always gonna shed a little bit. You shouldn't really like, play with it. It's not a toy, it's art. Look at her, look how fuzzy she is. That's pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. She looks so fuzzy and cute. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Okay, I was gonna do the pink part on Chica, but I decided to not do that because I'm going to end my own suffering. I think this is where I'm going to end the video. These are pretty much done. So we've got a non-primed one, a primed one, spray-painted one, and a flocked one. And I mean, I feel like I have a favorite child. It's obviously gonna be Bonnie, which is hilarious because that is the one that's done, you know, the correct way. <laughs> That is it. Four different ways I guess you can prepare. Painting it isn't really that what this is. Oh, please end my suffering. Let's go take some pictures. A bit of a happy end to this video. I'm really excited to announce that I have officially become an affiliate to Lychee Slicer. I use Lychee Slicer exclusively to slice and support all of my models. As a 3D modeler, I was a huge fan of Lychee Slicer even before they reached out to me to become an ambassador. Now that I'm an affiliate, I can now have an affiliate link, so if you're interested in a great slicer, you can click my affiliate link, and you can not only get a great slicer, but you can help support my channel. Right now, Lychee Slicer has a Black Friday deal where you can get 25% off your annual subscription. So if you use my affiliate link down below to download it, it will not only make me feel super cool, but I can also make a couple bucks. So if you're in the market for a slicer, please feel free to check out the link below. Also feel free to check out the Lychee Slicer library, which has some of my models exclusively available. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in being terrorized by these models, you can get them on my Colts 3D. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go eat a snack, take a shower, and have a heavily caffeinated drink. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye bye!